Hey, what's up you guys, Voice Designer here. So cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is what everybody's talking about these days, but not everyone has a clear understanding as to how do they work. This video is an introduction to cryptocurrencies and the fundamental structure they are built upon, which is the blockchain technology. If you think it's too late to get started in cryptocurrencies, I want to challenge you to think this way. You're consuming this content early in 2021 and someone will be searching for this very same video in a year from now and they will be getting started. And five years, 10 years down the line, someone will be searching and watching this video and they will be getting started in cryptocurrencies. So consider yourself very, very early still. So if you're watching this as a beginner, do not look at the price of Bitcoin and be discouraged thinking it's too expensive. As of recording this video, Bitcoin is trading around fifty dollars to $60,000 price range. Obviously, within this course, I'll give you my thoughts as to the approach you should be taking if you want to get started investing or trading cryptocurrencies. By the way, if you just stumbled across this video here on YouTube, this is a part two of a 15 video series, a completely free crypto masterclass that takes you from a beginner to a pro trader or investor in cryptocurrencies. In this video, you learn what are cryptocurrencies, how do they work and the problem they're solving. Later in this course, I'll share with you what I like to call a master plan in becoming a millionaire while trading or investing in cryptocurrencies. So. Let's get started. So what are cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrencies like bitcoins are virtual currencies. These currencies are similar to traditional currencies, except they're not governed by any laws of any country, any central government or any central banks, but they're governed by cryptography. If you ever use apps like WhatsApp, you'll notice that when you send a text, they will say this text or call is end to end encrypted. In plain English, they are saying the call or the text you're sending will go to the intended receiver without anyone interfering with it including WhatsApp themselves. While this might be true to some certain extent, the problem with this is that all this data is still stored in a centralized database. Now, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies takes this to the next level. Instead of having a single centralized database, Bitcoin works with a decentralized ledger called the blockchain. To fully understand the intricacies of the blockchain technology, keep watching because in the next video, we'll go in depth on everything you need to know about the blockchain technology and how it works. But in a nutshell, this is a decentralized network of nodes or computers, sometimes referred to as miners. The sole purpose of these nodes is to validate transactions and secure the network. Basically, everyone who uses Bitcoin become the part of the bank of Bitcoin. In traditional banking, if user A sends some funds to user B, it can take up to seven working days because traditional banking uses banking mechanisms that are centralized. In cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, if the same user A sends some funds to user B, it can take up to 12 minutes if using Bitcoin, for example, for those funds to clear. And from that example alone, we can see that cryptocurrencies is the future of money and has a huge advantage compared to traditional banking. Now that we have a basic understanding of what are cryptocurrencies, you may be wondering why do we even need cryptocurrencies when we have fiat currencies. Fiat currencies are national issued currencies like your rent, dollar, euro, pound, Chinese RMBs, and so on. While these currencies are good enough for day-to-day -day use, they have huge disadvantages. The fundamental problem with fiat currencies is inflation. Your government and central banks can easily manipulate interest rates and issue debts to increase the circulating money supply. Also, fiat currencies are national-based currencies, which means if I travel to the US, it will be very difficult for me to spend my South African rent there. But if I travel to the US with Bitcoin, the same Bitcoin in South Africa is the same Bitcoin in the US worth the same in China. So you can see that cryptocurrencies pushes boundaries and go beyond borders. So while government issued currencies are subjected to inflation, as government and central banks can decide to print more money whenever they feel like, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin on the other hand are deinflationary currencies as there are only 21 million Bitcoins that will ever exist which makes a perfect sense when it comes to a demand and supply of Bitcoin. The more people want to get into Bitcoin like yourself, if you're watching this video and you want to get started in cryptocurrencies, you are increasing the demand when it comes to the accessibility of Bitcoin, which is one of the most fundamental reasons why Bitcoin's price has been going up. Another disadvantage of fiat currencies is counterfeiting. With cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, on the other hand, it is nearly impossible to counterfeit Bitcoin due to its infrastructure and protocol which prevents a person from carrying out an attack known as double spending or the 51% attack. So in quick summary, cryptocurrencies are virtual currencies that can be sent via the internet across borders. These currencies use a blockchain technology to process transactions. Within the blockchains, there are nodes or validators. This is a group of computers that validate transactions while securing the network. And also this is how new Bitcoins are generated. These computers are also known as miners. 
is Bitcoin a store value? Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are not just used for payment purposes. They can also be used for investment or trading purposes, which is probably the reason why you're watching this video. So most people have referred to Bitcoin as a digital gold. Some people actually call it the gold 2.0. In the same, a similar class with gold, just it's a non-productive asset. It's an asset that is only worth more if other people agree to pay more for it. That, that's the type of issue that Which I also about. agree with. I think, I think it is exactly that. I think it is a replacement to gold. But again... But you like gold. You're saying you like non-productive assets. I like in a portfolio. Mm -hmm. for again, my portfolio is 99% risk on, 1% risk off. And in that 1% risk off bucket, I think that something like Bitcoin is really important. Why? Because it is not correlated to the rest of the market. And so Bitcoin certainly shares most features of a store value in a sense that it can be used to hold and transfer value. So cryptocurrencies provide us with the possibility of a truly cashless society. Uh, I've lived in countries like China and during my time there, I realized that you don't need to carry cash, nor do you need to carry a bank card. Payments are done digitally through apps like WeChat and I think we may see features like this brought into apps like WhatsApp in the future. Maybe you're watching this in the future and on your WhatsApp you can send funds to your friends or family. Comment on the comment section below if you are watching us from the future. But I think we can see this possibility uh, of a you know, cashless society with, with cryptocurrencies saying that these are virtual currencies, these are virtual coins, there's no physical Bitcoin or Ethereum. It's all just software and hardware that is integrated together with consensus and algorithm. And I hope that you are excited as well to be part of these truly revolutionary inventions that has a possibility of pushing us to a cashless society that goes beyond borders. So now that we know what are cryptocurrencies and how do they work, let's look at how you actually get started in cryptocurrencies. To own a particular cryptocurrency, you have to purchase it through a broker or an exchange. You must find a broker that has more listings so you can have access to a wider variety of cryptocurrencies. As of recording this video in early 2021, there are over 9,200 cryptocurrencies that exist already with a total market cap of about 2.2 trillion US dollars. So in a sea of more than 9,200 cryptocurrencies to choose from, picking which one to buy or to invest on can be such a daunting experience. But if you keep watching throughout this course, I'll show you my top 10 cryptocurrencies that you should be owning in your crypto portfolio today. So through a broker, you can buy these cryptocurrencies using your fiat currencies and you have an option to use a bank transfer or buy directly with your credit card or debit card. Obviously, throughout this course, I'll be showing you how to do these things step by step. So keep watching. Once you have successfully bought your cryptocurrencies, you can then store them on your crypto wallet. Obviously, I'm going to cover this also in the course, but I've already made a video titled What is a Bitcoin Wallet? Throughout that video, I go in depth on explaining what is a crypto wallet and how does it work. So I really, really recommend that you do watch that video. I'm going to link it towards the end of the video. So keep watching. So later in this course, I'll actually be showing you how to trade cryptocurrencies step by step. And I know most of you just want to get to that part where we're trading, investing and making money. And to those of you who think that way, I want to say slowly is the fastest way of getting to where you want to be. So watch the entire course and respect the process of learning. So here we are at the end of this video. This video was just a simple introduction into cryptocurrencies. And hopefully you got a picture of how these currencies work integrated with the blockchain technology. And obviously in the next video, we'll go in depth on understanding what is a blockchain technology and how does it work. So once again, thank you so much for watching my videos and you watched until this far. And I really, really appreciate you sitting on my videos for about five to 10 minutes. I really, really appreciate that. And don't forget to always share this video with one person whom you think can benefit from this kind of content. So more and more people can learn about cryptocurrencies and hopefully take control of their financial future. But basically this video was just an introduction so you shouldn't be really worried about anything we spoke about in this video as we're going to be covering these topics on an in-depth videos as we go along in the course. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Vosi Designer. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.